This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. channel i literally can't see anything because it's so sunny me and my bestie dot are just chilling out i don't know if i've actually talked about it in my youtube channel i just mentioned it on my instagram but my beautiful bike is finally named dot so this morning i decided to get up and ride my bike to my local coffee store my favorite coffee store actually because i've been really good lately at having coffee at home and like saving money and i thought i would treat myself and get a barista coffee and also for the last few days i've been like stuck in my apartment editing and replying to emails and so i just sort of wanted to get out of the apartment and start my day outside in the sun and for once it's actually not cold today because it is winter in australia and like i'm not going to complain winter in australia is beautiful but it's been really really cold here lately so i was stoked to wake up and see like blue sky and it's not windy or rainy so it's really nice weather so i'm officially up to week two of my body transformation series if you watch my last vlog you'll know that i'm doing like a comeback from bali from when i like ate heaps of food and went a little overboard it's 10 o'clock now and at 11 o'clock i'm gonna go meet my friend at the running track one of my friends from the gym and he messaged me this morning saying he was gonna do like sprints and stuff like that and if i wanted to come so i thought hashtag yolo and in this body transformation series it's really about working out and living in a maintainable way so not like killing yourself in the gym not restricting your diet or doing workouts that you resent and hate it's about enjoying the process and I just like to mix up my workouts to make sure that I don't get sick of them but before I head back to my apartment and get ready to go I just want to talk to you about something really exciting because I can't hold it in any longer I feel like I'm gonna get really excited about this and it's not going to happen because we haven't even asked our landlord yet but Kurt and I are so clucky right now for puppies because like everywhere we go we just look at everyone's dogs and we just want to touch them and pat them and play with them so we've been discussing it so much and literally every night for the whole week we've just been youtubing dogs the 10 best dog breeds for apartments or the 10 best dog breeds for couples we did want a french bulldog or a pug for a while but i just found out they can't swim and because this is our backyard like the ocean our dog needs to be able to swim because we swim a lot in summer so it's gonna be coming with us I've always wanted a big dog but obviously that's not very fair in our little apartment so I've been researching dogs that are like happy in small apartments but I do work from home so obviously wherever I go I would take it and imagine if I had like a little pup and it was in that basket I would totally bring it everywhere like everywhere and I've even got a name picked out and everything like I feel like this is bad I'm so emotionally attached to this dog that we don't even have yet slash we don't even know if we're allowed I literally can't focus on anything now like as I was riding to coffee I would like stop and pat people's dogs or like just suss them out anyway that is news number one for the vlog I've got a lot of things to fill you guys in on I feel like there's a lot of changes happening and a lot of exciting things happening but I'll space it out over the vlog so I'm not just sitting here the whole time slash I was thinking on YouTube lately I've been loving people's story time so just like sit down chat videos I don't know if that's just me obviously I want to make content that you guys want to see definitely comment below if you guys want me to do some story times and if you do some topics that you want me to talk about because sometimes when I'm just like getting ready and chilling out I just like to hear someone telling me a story in the background so I am more than happy to like do some sit down chat story time videos with you guys like whether it's about high school or like experiences that I've gone through I love watching those videos so I would love to make them oh my gosh guys imagine the day where I can put like a dog in here a little puppy I'll have to like put some squishy stuff or something see listen to me I'm getting invested already what if our landlord says no like I just haven't mentally prepared myself for the possibility that we like can't get a dog oh I'll be so sad and there's no way I'm getting a cat because I'm not a cat person like the perfect weather 
to do an outdoor workout. As you guys know, I am doing my ebook Sweat It to Shred It on this project comeback, but it's Tuesday. So on Tuesday, there's no scheduled workouts where you can do whatever you want, like go on a walk, do Pilates, whatever. So today my workout is obviously going to be the sprints. So especially on the days that there are no scheduled workouts, like not toning power or sweaty shredders, which I usually do at the gym because I just have the best headspace there. I like to get outside and do like my stair sprints or go on a walk with my friends. So I highly encourage you guys to mix up your workouts, mix up where you do your workouts and the kind of workouts you do just to make sure you don't burn yourself out, get bored and start resenting exercise. Lol jokes. Greg just called me. By the way, Greg is my friend who I'm doing the workout with. He just called me and said that there's like a school running carnival on at the sprinting track. So I don't really want to be showing the 10 year olds up. You know what I'm saying? No, I honestly reckon that they could probably beat me. So what is going to happen is I've just gotten to the gym and he's written up a session that has integrated like outdoors and indoors. So I'm guessing we're going to be doing like sprinting in the street and then coming back to the gym and doing like a workout. And I guess this brings me on to another tip and that is working out with a friend. Every now and then, sure, I like to go on like walks with my friends and stuff like that, but I love to be pushed. I'm a really competitive person. So I love training with Kurt because Kurt and I are super competitive with each other, encourage each other, push each other. And we often do workouts where it's like the first person to fail and we are so stubborn that we end up like in pain because none of us want to give up. That is why I love training with Greg because he's an amazing trainer. We have really similar philosophies. I'm into functional training. He's into functional training. All right, so I'm going to head into the gym now. Greg just told me it's like a messed up session. Like I'm going to die. I'm going to be super sweaty, which is perfect because I had my coffee like an hour ago. So I'm like peaking energy levels and I'm in the mood for a sweaty session. And it took us an hour and 20 minutes. It was a full body fat burning session and I am sweaty. So yeah, Greg is a trainer here at Reborn. If you guys want to know any of his details, I'll put it in the description bar below. Definitely hit up Greg. I need to go have a shower. <laughs> Yuck, we're, we're like disgusting. <laughs> I'm really lucky because my gym is like super close to our apartment, so it takes me like five minutes to get there. So I do have a lot of errands to run and I need to be out and about today. But first of all, I wanted an excuse to come back so I could get my bike because I just love riding my bike up to the mall. And then also when I was at the gym, I got a message from the post office. So I thought I'd come back, get the package and open it up for you guys because I don't know if it's just me. I love watching vloggers open up their packages. Like I get as excited as they do. And then I'm going to make a protein shake. That'll be my first meal of the day. I showed you guys a few vlogs ago that I got a box from Friends of Alma. Ever since my ebook, I've just been trying to to really look carefully at the products that I'm using in my life. And especially because my hormones have been fluctuating like crazy. PCOS, I'm really sensitive to plastics. That may sound really weird, but my naturopath basically said that plastics and chemicals respond bad to everyone's body, but especially if you have hormonal imbalances. So the first time I picked their sleep box, this time I thought I would pick their active box because hashtag active. And I don't fully remember what's in it. So we get to open it together. All right, let's get into the box of goodies. Run wild, set your hair free. Free, travel pack. How perfect is that? Because on the topic of traveling, I'm actually doing a surprise meetup in Perth. I know, I'm so excited. It's in collaboration with Cotton On Body because I wore all of Cotton On Body stuff in my ebook. So Cotton On Body contacted me and they were like, let's send you somewhere fun. I was like, let's go to Perth at 10 a.m. at Lakeside Joondalup Shopping Center. I'll put the link in the description bar below of where you can register to come and meet me. And now I can bring my travel hair pack with me. It says avocado waterproof mascara. Does that mean it's made from avocado? How 
How cool is that? I just love natural ingredients. It makes me so excited. What is this? It's just like a natural deodorant. Because you sweat, you've got like your open glands there. And whatever you put under your arm can just be quickly penetrated into your body and go straight into your bloodstream. So it's really important to use natural products, especially around like on your underarms. And every time I use like chemical-based deodorant, I like know it's bad and I feel really guilty. So this is good that I have this now. Post-workout body balm. Oh my gosh, it's like really smooth. This is what I'm excited for. It illuminates and hydrates the skin, leaving it looking fresh. And it's a lighter alternative to foundation. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm such a grub. Like hashtag grub life to the max is my life. A lot of the time I'll go to the gym in the morning and I don't come home all day. So I'm like in my sweaty gym clothes with my sweaty face all day. And look, I'm not really about makeup. I don't have a scrap of makeup on right now. I don't really care, whatever. But sometimes if I know that I have like a lot of errands to run and I've got like people to see or like things to do after the gym, I want to just be able to put a lightweight foundation on. And I'm a sweater. Like when I'm hot, I sweat. Sezzy the sweater, they should call me. So I just wanted to find like a lighter version of foundation that's not going to clog me up and make me feel like a cake. As always, if you want to use my discount code Sarah's Day, go for it and you get $10 off your box. Another hard decision, do I shower first or make my protein shake? I feel like I need to listen to my body. Food, let's make a protein shake. <laughs> I'm gonna get changed and go up the street. So as if my face looks super oily, but I'm trying out this new skincare routine, which I don't want to talk about just yet because as you guys know, I only like talking about products that I genuinely love and I genuinely use. And I've only been using this one for like the last three days or so. And I want to make sure that I love it before I talk about it. And speaking of products that I really do like, I went to the hairdresser the other day because I accidentally ripped one of my extensions out. By the way, I do still have extensions. It's just because I have such thin hair. When I chopped it short, it still looked really thin. So I just have a few in. Anyway, long story story short, accidentally ripped it out, had to go to the hairdresser, and my hairdresser actually commented saying my hair feels so much more healthy and thicker, and it's because I've been making a massive effort to put more time and dedication into my all-around beauty routine, like my hair, my skin, and everything. So I just put a hair mask in, and I like to put them in in the day, because then I like go about my day, run my errands, and I don't even notice that it's on, and then before I go to bed, I normally have another shower, wash it off, and then my hair's nice and smooth. Right now, I've got the LeBang Body Hydrating and Strengthening Hair Treatment in, and that is in the flavor Malibu. So that's what it looks like and I like it because it's nice and natural. Like I said, I'm only using natural products right now. Honestly, I don't even care. I just like brush it in, slick it in a bun and I just rock it, you know? I guess I'm at a point where I just like fully don't care what people think about me. People are judging me for roaming around the streets with a hair mask in, then so be it. All right, let's get changed. Okay, fashion time. Is Sezzy in her pajamas? Debatable. Guys, I just live for that sport luxe comfort look. Like if I'm not comfortable, I don't have a good time. I don't have a good day. I love these pants so much. They're so comfortable. I bought them like two weeks ago, but I feel like they do look like pajama pants. And obviously I'm in this jumper because I'm like the world's worst outfit repeater. Honestly, I have a whole cupboard worth of clothes and I always wear the same stuff. Please tell me I'm not the only person who does this. Spritz it up a little bit with these pink sandals. Courtesy of Bali. I think they were like $5. I got them in pink and white. Right. All right, Dotty, it's time to roll. Don't stop, pop that, don't stop, pop that, pop that, pop that, don't stop, pop that, don't stop, pop that, turn the f up. Don't stop. to do a few things at the bank and I like parked Dot and I like locked her up with her little bike lock, walked up to the door, it was like one of those automatic doors and I like nearly walked into it and it didn't open and then there was like the bank girl there and she was like pretending not to see me and I was like, hey, like, can I come in? Anyway, she just came to the door and she was like, we're not letting anyone else in. I was like, oh, can I just, and she's like, no. It was literally like one of those movie moments where you're like, okay, no. No, I was like, okay. And I just like turned around and like grabbed Dot and just like went on my way. Anyway, so that just got me in like a grumpy mood. And I was like, I'm gonna go home. I need a snack. I'm very, very hungry. I'm like really naughty. And I swear everyone does this. If it's just me, that's really bad. But surely everyone does this. Whenever I'm like preparing my main meals, like my big meals, I like to snack 
while I make my meal, if that makes sense. I mentioned it in one of my last vlogs that I love chips. So these are healthy versions of chips. If you love chips, I highly recommend these. These are red kale chips. They're just by Loving Earth. So I'm gonna snack on them. And then for my main meal, my lunch, I think I'm going to make a nourish bowl. Are we surprised? Not really. And my lunch is served. I am obsessed with this combo lately. Apple cider vinegar, tahini, salt, pepper, and chili. It's like a delicious Caesar ranch dressing. Just make sure to massage it in with your hands to spread the dressing all around the salad. I guess this is a big reason why I love eating a paleo-based diet because I like eating a lot of food and it's easy for my body to digest. Pretty much all of my meals look something like this. It's either like cooked vegetables in the oven, like Mediterranean style, or I'll do a huge nourish bowl like this. And ever since getting back from Bali, I've been loving this. I honestly think I think I'm just going to like chill out for a little bit and watch like a Netflix series. Again, you're too tall. <laughs> you haven't even had a coffee. And by the way, my soup was so, so yummy. And then after dinner, what did I have for dessert? I think I just had some fruit. Oh, I had some fruit and some Brazil nuts. So today, before I wrap up this vlog, I just want you to see, I feel like our house is normally pretty clean. Like, come come and look at our house for a come second. On. Yep, our bathroom, clean. Kitchen, clean. Dining room, lounge, bed. So everyone sees all of this. Oh, Cezzy and Kurt are so clean. Brr, brr. I dedicate like an hour or so to just like clearing this whole room and less is more so we just need to be specific with what we want on everyone's desks I definitely want flowers and candles the unisex table so I'm going with black so I'm using like the black candle here you guys know I'm obsessed with these candles this is the indigo flame soy candle and I purposely put this one in here because do you know what flavor it is Blueberry muffin. Yes, it's your favorite. So I put it favorite. in our shared space. I want my table to be like white. So I'm gonna put the white candle, maybe like the vanilla caramel indigo flame soy candle. Maybe I'll do that. Cause I wanna make sure the apartment is all cool and then I will give you a proper tour and tell you where everything's from and things like that. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now. We need to get cleaning. That's really it. I feel like not much happened, but anyway. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure to subscribe. She uploads every three days. Boom. All right, let's get cleaning. Huzzah! Bye. <laughs>